What if I told you you can create highly detailed 3D depth maps with just three clicks of the mouse button? In this video, I'll show you just how to do that using Sculpt OK and some of the best depth maps I've ever come across. Whether you're into laser engraving, CNC carving or 3D printing, you don't want to miss this. Stick around to the end of the video and you'll be generating professional looking depth maps in seconds. Here we go then, as you can see this is the landing page, we're on Sculpt OK. Let's crack straight on, let's get in and see what goodies we've got. Now this is the opening page and it's very very simple. All we need to do, depth map generation, now let's see how many clicks it takes. So we've had one to get in, so that's one click. Second click, you click here and then you just select which image you want to do the depth map for. So I've got a little folder. Let me just, oh no boy. Sorry, sorry I got crack jumping. <laughs> Come on boy. Right, let's just select. Let me find a folder. I had some pictures, pictures to do depth maps with. Here we go. And we'll just click on number one. As you see, we've got this. This is almost like a bas relief, which I do for my other depth map creation. So let's see how it gets on. You just click open. So is that another click? Was that two now? There we have it. And we'll click number three. That's all you got to do. You, you choose what you want. Colour image, portrait image or line art. Well, we're just going to go for colour image on this one. And we'll see now what kind of depth map it generates. So let's just click there. I think that was three or four clicks. Who cares? It's simple. And what it's doing now, it's doing this in real time. I'm not speeding it up. This is actual how long you'll wait. And here we go. There's the very first one. Now that's just like your normal generic depth map that you'd find, which is okay. But then we need more details, don't we? And now this is what it's doing now. It's doing it. Here we go. Oh, and look at that. How cool does that look? And now you've got another one. And again, the detail. It's just getting better and better with each one. The details coming through. And we're just waiting on the last one. Oh, look at that. Look at the quality of that depth map. Now let's just now, all you do then, once you've done that, you can click on it. And as you can see, look at that. Whichever one you want to choose, whichever one you want to work with. And it's just so quick and easy. That's what I like. It's so quick and easy. We're not messing about with Google Colabs or anything like that. It's just clicking the mouse, selecting files and clicking. Now, if we wanted that one, all you do, you just click download, confirm. And as you see up here, it'll just plop it up there in your downloads folder as quick as that. So as, you, as you'll agree, that's come out really cool, really, really cool. So we'll try the next one now. We'll try another one. So we just click on the photo again. And this time, let's let's try and let's let's try something else this time. How about that, Ozzy Osbourne, the King of Rock? Now, as you see with this photo, this has got a lot. This is a real difficult one because there's lights and shades. His hands are out in front, mouth open, glasses. Now this is really going to test it. This will really test to see. There he is. And then all we do again, just click this little draw button down there. So simple. It really is. And anyone, literally anyone can do this. It's that simple. And the results you get are just absolutely stunning. I'm just so happy I've discovered it. They, they, they reach out, out to me, as I said. And I'm so happy that they did. Here we go. Look, there's the very first one. Oh, here we go. Look at that one. How cool is Ozzy looking there? That's so cool. Oh, and they just get better and better, don't they? Each one gets better and better. But obviously, it, all, it all, does all depend what you're actually going to be using it for. Are you going to be using it for CNC, laser, or making an STL file for actually making a 3D print? Now, that's what I want to do. I want to do a 3D print. So looking at these, probably for me, for what I want to do, it would be that one. How cool, how cool is Ozzy there? So all we do, we'll download that one. And again, it's just simple clicks, clicks. How many clicks was that? Three clicks, was it? Select your file, download, Bosch. So, so simple. Now we'll do one more. What we got here? Oh, there we go. The Joker and Harley Quinn. Why not? Let's see what it makes of this. Again, this is another bas relief one, but as, as I've shown, you can use a photo like the Aussie one here. You can use any, any type of image, coloured, you know, black and white line art. You've got an option down here for line art. So really is your creativity can really have a go and really get stuck in. 
So let's see how he gets on with Harley Quinn and the Joker. So let's just press draw. And we'll see how we get on. Oh, here we go. Now this one is this one does it's such a striking image. I'll be interested to see how this one goes. Oh my word, look at that. How cool is that? That is just superb. Look at the details in there. Oh, it get it gets better. I mean that's absolutely look at that for that'd make a lovely engraving. If if you if you've got a laser engraver and you're doing the coasters, you know, like the slate coasters, how cool would this look on a coaster? And number three, look at, let's just check that out. I mean, look at the result. Look at that. Obviously, you've got the watermark over, but that disappears when you download it. But look at that. How cool is that? So all you do, again, just click download. Confirm, and it just plunks it in your download folder. Now, also, another cool tool on this, you can also do a 3D sculpture. You can turn it into the SDL file, so you don't have to change websites. So all you do is drag your drag your photo in so I'll show you that now now here's the settings now I'll just change that setting you need to play about with them depending on what you want I like a two mil thickness on my 3d prints on my STL files uh, 120 that's fine so let's load up an image let's see uh, desktop have to go desktop is that one was it yeah we'll do that one as you can see that's the one we just downloaded so we click open and that's all there is to it. And look how quick it plops it out. Look at that. Scrolling a bit. How cool is that? So we've gone from our, our image, AI or whatever image you want to use. You can use anything, a photo, whatever it may be. And we've got this within, I don't know, a couple of minutes at most. How many clicks? I've lost count of the clicks. but Five, six at best. I mean, look at that. And now what I'd do with that, I'd take that file, I'd download that. You just click download. And it downloads the STL file for you. I'd take that into Blender and I'd resize it, maybe cut it into a round or a bar or whatever I wanted to do with it. And away I go for my piece of art. And that is Sculpt OK. I, it's just, I'm just so pleased that they've re reached out to me and asked me to, to have a look at it because it's going to make my life a lot easier. I mean, number one, the quality of the death map, but number two, the actual absolute game changer, how easy it is it's a no-brainer if you found this little tutorial helpful don't forget to hit the like button and below in the description there's a link to the sculpt okay website so go check it out if you want to see a piece of silver i've made using the sculpt okay process check this video out here it's a real cool pour